Honestly, there's nothing that I hate more than being weighed down by my camera bag. Greetings YouTube, my name is Stuart and on my channel I show you how to make the most of your gear as a street and travel photographer. I'm a photographer based in South Korea and on my channel I make videos about street photography in Asia, my journey as a street photographer and the gear that I use. So if you enjoy those types of videos please be sure to subscribe for more videos posted weekly. So as I make more videos on this channel, I want to show you the gear I use and how it works for me. I've already spoken a bit about my shooting setup and the different lenses that I use, but today I wanna to show you the camera bag that I use, and that is the Manfrotto Street Camera Messenger Bag. So as the name implies, it's a messenger style bag that forms part of the street messenger line or street camera bag line. Uh, there are other bags in the range which um, have different shapes or different forms, but they have the same finishes. The bag that I've got is designed to hold a compact mirrorless camera or a DSLR with say two to three medium sized lenses at most. It also comes with a removable padded compartment so you can stow your camera gear safely without having to worry about it getting damaged. Now the reason that I like this bag and that I use this bag is because of one thing, and that is speed. When you are shooting street photography, it is quite important that you have quick access to your gear in order to capture a split second moment. Now if I was using a backpack, let's say, and I had my camera in a backpack, and I wanted access to my camera, I'd be forced to put the backpack down, I unzip the backpack, take my camera out. If I wanted to switch lens, I'd need to leave the backpack on the floor. Whereas with a messenger bag, I can literally turn the bag around, um, uh, open the top zipper, and I've got access to the top compartment. And it really takes me no more than five seconds to access my camera. It also allows me to switch my lenses on the go so I don't have to set my bag down. I can just, uh, again, open the top compartment and switch out my lenses while I'm standing, uh, which is really convenient. I much prefer the form factor of a messenger bag over a backpack just because I tend to get quite hot, especially during summer. So it keeps me a lot cooler, uh, especially in hot weather. This particular bag has space for a laptop up to 15 inches. Uh, and it's also got a very handy front compartment where you can store pens, accessories, um, and other small goodies. It's also got a front flap with a pocket for easy and quick access to small items, which I usually use for sunglasses, power banks, earphones, and the like. Then on the back, it's got kind of a document compartment where you can keep um, documents. So if I'm traveling, I normally use it to stow my passport, flight tickets, um, perhaps even my wallet if I need to. And that just keeps it safe because it's right against my body. So as you can see, it scores quite highly for versatility. It comes in this olive green and gray cadre finish with a camouflage inner lining, which might not be to everyone, everyone's tastes, but I quite enjoy it. And then underneath, it's got a durable suede bottom uh, to protect the bag against the elements. Now, perhaps you're in the market for a bag of this style and you're looking around at your different options. I think one of the main ones on the market that has been around for a while is something like the Peak Design. I know they've got a sling messenger bag. They've got a few different variants. Um, those are great bags from what I've seen, but they can be quite pricey. And that was also one of the reasons why I got this bag uh, was because when I got it, it was $30 on Adorama, on special, and uh, yeah, suffice to say, it's been the best $30 that I've ever spent on a camera bag. In conclusion, if you're looking for a stylish but versatile everyday carry that doubles up as a camera bag, then I'd really suggest you give this bag a look. You won't be disappointed. So today's question, what type of camera bag works best for you? Do you prefer messenger style bags or normal camera backpacks? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, remember to drop a like and subscribe for more videos posted weekly. I'll see you guys in the next one.